With so many games in the Quest Store, it's hard to pick a game to get. Hi guys, my name is Cal Dermody. Today, I'm going to bring you my top 10 favorite games on the Quest Store that you can get today on your Quest 2 or 3. We're going to begin with number 10 with a game called Red Matter 2. This game is one of the most visually appealing games on the Quest with super high resolution graphics, as well as nice touches of detail such as smudged glass on your screen impairing your vision, and exceptionally well done reflection physics. This game has won plenty of awards and features very unique and fun gameplay while you explore the world of Red Matter. I still haven't made it super far in this game, but I totally plan on finishing it and every time that I play I'm super mind blown. It's kind of steep at $29.99, but I swear you'll enjoy every minute of it if you get it. Coming in at number 9 is Blade and Sorcery. Have you ever wanted to crush the skulls of your enemies with a swift sword strike to the head? You sick animal. Well me too. For $19.99, you're a swordman making your way through areas packed with enemies. Using both hands, you can find weapons on the ground or steal one from an enemy you killed. There are tons of maps to choose from, and it can genuinely feel like you're in a fight when you're playing. My heart rate goes out the roof, and I actually get kind of freaked out by what people are doing sometimes. This game has a large modding community that can make it a lot of fun, and the physics alone can make the game super enticing. It really can be a workout as well, and I'm always slightly sweaty when I get done playing. Coming in at number 8 is Vegas Infinity. This is one of my favorite games on the market, although I definitely don't advocate for overindulging in gambling. That being said, there's no better way to do it than a free video game. Vegas Infinite is a great way to learn the proper way to play some of these games without worrying about the pressure of playing at a real life table. You can get involved with fun groups of people, and there's a huge community of content being made where people mess with other gamblers. It's actually hilarious, and I recommend you check it out if you haven't seen any of it. You're playing poker, do you understand? Hit me. This is not Blackjack 21, bro. This is fucking I'm poker. It. I'm over 21. I'm allowed to be here. The game is a great pastime for the gambling enthusiast, and I do highly recommend you check it out if you have an itch to roll some dice. Number 7 is Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil is a great series. It's been around since 1996 and has over 20 different games in the franchise. Adding VR makes it super immersive and makes for a hell of a horror game for those who like to be scared. Coming in at $39.99, the steep price resembles that of a true length game, which is exactly what this is. Resident Evil 4 is a remake of the original, perfectly blending the best of the old elements with the best of the new in VR. The Resident Evil series is definitely the most scary games I've played on VR, although I consider myself a baby when it comes to horror games. While I do feel like the graphics aren't the best on the quest, it is a phenomenal game and I do intend on playing it all the way through. Number 6, VR Chat. Everybody has seen VR Chat, and everyone loves VR Chat for the most part. VR Chat is an open world game where you explore different player created worlds while interacting with other members of that world. You can choose any avatar you want and then get to exploring. Some top rooms are horror scare rooms, remakes of different movie scenes or video games, and my personal favorite, movie rooms, where you sit with a bunch of strangers in VR and watch a movie. Way cooler than having real friends to watch movies with, right? Right. VR chat's super fun to explore in, and I guarantee that you'll have some fun when you explore, because there's always something to do, you just gotta look around. Number 5, Population 1. This was one of the first shooters that I played on VR, and it's completely free to play. Population 1 is a battle royale game featuring the unique ability to climb and fly across the map. Such as other battle royale games, you drop into a map with two teammates and must find a gun, ammo, and shields. The added pressure of having to really run and gun can make this gut-wrenching though, and I honestly get super, super hardcore adrenaline spikes while I'm playing, to where like I'm actually shaking and where you have a hard time shooting because you're shaking. It can get intense even after playing for a long time. Paired up with the team deathmatch mode and sandbox mode, Population 1 is a feature-filled game with tons of play appeal. Number 4, Hand Physics Lab. Finger physics is a phenomenal use of pass-through technology, featuring progressively harder little puzzles that can solve with your fingers that definitely stimulate the brain. You'll spend countless hours playing without realizing it. Tracking can be a little iffy sometimes, but the puzzles can get very complex and complicated, making it super fun as you go on. The games can get genuinely difficult at times, but as you get good at it, you can start to figure out how they work, so you can kind of get an edge on what they're doing, but like they can get mind-stumping sometimes, like I get confused. That being said, kids can also do the easy tasks, so it can be done by children and adults alike, and it's a great game for the whole family. Number 3, Rec Room. Coming in as a free game, Rec Room is a phenomenal game and one of the first that I tried when I got a VR headset. Both family friendly and entertaining for adults, Rec Room delivers great gameplay featuring tons of different game modes ranging from battle royale to player built versions of Disneyland. Each player can interact with tons of other players in different environments. The main playstyle requires the purchasing of a micro currency, which I'm not a huge fan of, but the gameplay is super fun and you'll keep coming back to it, so it's a great game. Number two, Walkabout Mini Golf. Coming in at $15, Walkabout Mini Golf is a very easy game. Fun for the family and pretty competitive when you allow it to be. 
It really reminds me of a traditional mini golf game and has tons of different Easter eggs that you can find while you're playing. It's very fun. The game itself is very easy to play and relaxing. Each level is unique and features cool different art pieces, which really helps keep you intrigued while you go on. The gameplay is realistic and super fun, and you'll definitely want to spend some hours playing this game. And last but not least, number one, Contractors. Contractors is definitely my most played game on my quest. With an extensive modding community, plethora of different gameplay options, great physics, and many hours of different content, Contractors is the go-to FPS style shooting in the VR world. Contractors has many mods, such as Star Wars mods, allowing you to play Star Wars Battlefront in VR. This was mind-blowing the first time that I played. It also features Halo mods to play Halo style shooters, as well as intricately made Nazi zombie remakes. These were equally as mind-blowing, in the remakes featuring everything down to the reload cycles of each weapon. Contractors also has a Battle Royale mode coming out, although it's currently only, only in beta, but the main mode has been released for years and also has a PC VR version. The modding community is what really makes this superb. The gameplay itself is amazing, don't get me wrong. The modding community has made it go so much further than what it was originally planned to be, and that is what has really made Contractors the number one most played game on my list. And that's all everyone, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys have a little better insight on what kind of games you want to get on your quest. There's a lot to choose from, but these are just my top 10. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much and have a good one. Peace.